Hi guys, welcome back. So today I want to share with you some of my favorite fragrances. I haven't done this video like this in a long time actually, almost a year. And since then there has been a lot of new additions to my collection and I can't wait to share them with you. But also I will be showing you how I style each of these fragrances. As you know, I like to mix fragrance and fashion. The two go hand in hand. And for each perfume, I'll show you how I wear them, how I style them and all that good stuff. So the first fragrance I have been obsessing with lately is Champaka by Aumont Jane. Now it's no surprise that Aumont Jane is one of my favorite niche brands. Champaka, what is this fragrance about? Well, it is a beautiful, feminine, sophisticated floral scent. Just like a lot of Aumont Jane fragrances, they're all ultra feminine and sophisticated, which is probably why I love them so much. And Champaka is about uh, the Champaka flower, which is a pale orange flower that can be found in India. And it's in the same family as Magnolia, but essentially it's a fresh floral, so great for warmer days, but it has some fruity nuances. I get almost apricot, peach-like nuances in this scent. It's more of an apricot skin, like the apricot fuzz, as opposed to a, like a pulpy peach or apricot. It can be a casual fragrance, but I like to dress it up as always. And I decided to pair it with this beautiful two-piece from Reese. So the top ties in the back, it is so chic. I actually wore this to my grandfather's 90th birthday. Then I have the matching long skirt and again here you can tie it in the back or you can tie it in the front. It kind of depends on your preference but if you tie it in the back it almost looks like it's one full dress which is so feminine and chic. I just am obsessed with this look. And then for the shoes I went with uh, these floral sandals. The heel is awesome. It's like really funky. I like the gold detailing on it and you have like little butterflies and flowers. Like the whole look is everything. So you kind of get the whole vibe of this fragrance or at least how I would wear it. I would recommend this maybe for an engagement party, a garden party. Mind you, the shoes are super comfortable so they would be perfect for a garden party. Uh, also a christening, those kind of functions or even like the royal ascot. I find that the, the pair with the fragrance and the whole look is just match made in heaven. Then we have Ylang Kananga by Chloe. I've talked about this so much recently, you're probably sick of it by now, but I just, what can I say? I spray all the time and I feel like no one is really talking about it and more people should know about it. So Ylang Kananga is part of the new Atelier des Fleurs collection, which is a new collection that Chloe recently launched all around flowers, hence the name Atelier des Fleurs. And uh, there's a bunch of them. There's like rose, there's jasmine, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Ylang Kananga by far is the best in my opinion, and it's a different take on an Ylang Ylang fragrance. I love the exotic feeling of this scent. Oh my goodness, this is so good. And you know, it's this type of perfume that just teletransports you to a beach. And I've said this countless of times on my channel already, but truly this is so photo realistic. It's like you're sipping on a fresh coconut under the shade of the trees overlooking the sea. Oh my goodness. The good thing is that this is a huge bottle. This is 150 ml. So I do overspray with it. I don't feel guilty at all. I just go psh, 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 everywhere and that makes me very happy. So the way that I would match this fragrance up for more of an evening wear as opposed to day wear is with this printed pair of pants from Zara. There's a really funky pattern going on and lots of different colors, but more in the pastels. I added a cream crochet crop top because I feel like crochet just screams beach holiday vibes and so that is why I chose that. Next we have Fleur d'Osmentus by Roger Gallet. This is a more affordable fragrance for once. I got this a few weeks ago and I have already used quite a lot of it. I mean it may not seem like a lot but given the size of my perfume collection that is a lot and I'm going to be taking this with me on holiday wearing it all summer round because it's that sort of scent that you wanna wear when it's warmer outside. 
I personally like to wear it in the mornings. So I wake up, I make myself a matcha latte. That's like my little morning ritual. Um, I put on my robe and spritz this fragrance. It just puts a smile on my face, you know? It's like a happy scent. It just puts me in a good mood. So Fleur d'Osmentus is a very fresh, uplifting osmanthus fragrance. And for those of you who don't know what osmanthus is, it's a flower that has some fruity and leathery notes. But here, there's no leather by the way, this more celebrates the apricot tones of osmanthus. So this is essentially a fresh and uplifting apricot scent. Now, if I was to wear this fragrance outside of my home and upgrading my PJs for something that feels a little bit more decent, I would pair this with an outfit that gives me soft feminine vibes. I want something that is delicate, that is flowy, that is fresh. And so this is the outfit that goes for me with this scent. So a simple white top, you can tie a bow around the shoulder area on each side. I find that this just adds an extra layer of femininity. And then the skirt. So the skirt is flowy and delicate. There's a floral blue pattern. It's so pretty without looking like a wallpaper, which is not easy to do with floral patterns and it's just really dainty and everything that I love in a floral outfit. And to finish off the look, I added a pair of nude sandal heels. It just ties everything together and contributes to the overall whimsical, delicate, flower girl vibe. I need to share with you my latest Amazeballs layering combination. This is the next best layering combination for summer after hibiscus palm and vanilla vibes. So listen up and take notes. We have Blanche Bette by Liquid Imaginaire, which is an ultra milky electronic scent. It's essentially a rich cacao butter that's blended with an addictive, really creamy coconut. If you're looking for a gourmand fragrance to wear in the summertime, this is a great one to reach out for, though I wouldn't wear it during the day because it is strong and very heavy, so it's more appropriate and suited for the uh, nighttime. But then this is where the magic happens. I have another coconut scent. We have Balinese Coconut by Nest. This is available in the US. By the time this video is out, it could be available in the UK at Sephora. So let's see, I'll pop all the links to everything, to all the fragrances, to all of the outfits in the description box if you wanna check any of them out. Balinese Coconut, it's a sweet, bit salty coconut scent that it's like coconut, vanilla, it's rich, it's addictive, it's everything that I want in a sweet coconut perfume, put it this way. So the way that I mix these two together is I'll start with the oil because of the thicker consistency and I'll apply the oil at different pulse points. So usually around like my neck area, uh, my wrists, also behind my legs, my décolleté, you know, if you want to have a little bit of an extra spice thing going on. Uh, and then I will apply a Blanche Bette directly on top. And you can spray as much as you want. I want to be able to smell my fragrance all night, so I do go a little bit crazy on the trigger. But these two, match made in heaven, if you want a sexy, very sexy coconut scent, these two are just a combo in heaven. As for the outfit, since this is a sultry, sexy coconut scent, I went for a sexy outfit with this form-fitting dress in a rust color, because when I think of this coconut combo, I'm thinking of earthy tones, and I wanted to replicate that with the outfit. It's in a silk-like material, and it's very tight, so you can't really move in this dress, I will not lie, but I like the fact that the top is a little looser, so it doesn't feel like too sucked in everywhere and it also makes the dress a little bit more classy. And then I just wore a pair of gold heels to finish off the look. I love this. So I have a fun, flirty mango scent to share with you. It is none other than God of Fire by Stefan Umberluca. I'm a little bit late to the party with this one, but better late than never. So you may have heard of it already. It is a super fun, 
tangy, candied mango scent. It's playful and funny enough, this reminds me of Nerd Candy. So like the watermelon and the green one. This doesn't smell synthetic or cheap or anything like that. It, it's just a really fun fragrance. There's some ginger as well, but overall it's a sweet candied mango that I would recommend wearing for summer festivals, for instance, like if you have a music festival going coming up, maybe, you know, Burning Man, or ultimately if you're having like a Euro summer trip with your girlfriends, maybe in Greece or like in Italy or in Ibiza. Can you tell that I've been following Alex Earl on TikTok? I would recommend wearing this too. Anyways, with that in mind, this is the look that I went for. So I wanted to pair an outfit with bright colors to reflect how bright and fun this fragrance is. So I found this one piece from Zara, lots of pink, orange hues, fun patterns going on. I feel like this would be so appropriate for Positano or somewhere in Italy where you have bright colors and at the same time there's an element of chicness, which you certainly get with this outfit. And then for comfort, Rather than heels, I opted for the tan sandals with the gold infinity detailing. This is literally the perfect outfit if you are somewhere where there's like cobbled stones everywhere in the summertime on a holiday. You will be comfortable, you can eat a lot because it's flowy, and your feet will not hurt, which is a win-win situation. Next is Rose Passion by Jimmy Choo, and this is probably one of the best new designer releases. And despite the name of the scent, there's no rose, even though the bottle is pink as well. This is a coconut scent. Let me tell you, this is a salty vanilla coconut scent. If you like fragrances such as Olympia as well by Paco Rabanne or Beach Walk by Maison Margiela, those salty vanilla scents, this is gonna be right up your alley. Great for layering as well because it's not too complicated and it just stays stable in its evolution. So actually it could layer quite well with also the Nest coconut oil. So I'll try that over the summer and let you know what I think. But anyways, compared to Blanche Bette and the Nest oil, this coconut scent is a fresh, light and airy one. It's more along the lines of a fresh coconut water. That is what this perfume is about with, as I said, some floral notes with frangipani. There's still the vanilla and the sandalwood. It's delicious. Since this is more of a casual everyday scent, the way that I would pair it would be with a cropped crochet top. As always, I love the crochet with the coconuts and then some cream tailored shorts and over the top added a linen shirt. This linen shirt in particular, I really enjoy. It's from And Other Stories and it's just really soft and light, more on the sheer side, which is why it's great for layering and just adds that additional elegant touch, but whilst being casual at the same time. And to finish off the look, I went for the tan sandals. And this is the kind of look that I would wear, say for a shopping day, maybe when I'm on holiday and I just spritz a little bit of rose passion. Yeah, that just puts me in a really happy mood. And the final scent is also a new release. It is Bake by Acro. And Acro is the brand of Olivier who is like an amazing perfumer. He is the king of gourmand fragrances and this is an incredible gourmand scent. It was only a matter of time that he launched it under his own brand. This is another gourmand that you can easily wear in the summer as well. Uh, if you're interested in like sweeter notes that aren't too overpowering and overbearing. And I can just tell you right now, whenever I smell this, my, I just salivate. My mouth waters immediately. It is so delicious, I just wanna eat it. It smells like a lemony vanilla sponge cake, like a lemon drizzle sponge cake. Just thinking of it is making me hungry. Moist, fluffy vanilla sponge cake, drizzled with lemon icing, and then you have also some shavings of lemon zest on top. It is so realistic. You can literally taste the cake in your mouth when you smell this. So the way that I would wear this fragrance is with a toasty and cozy outfit. So I went for a turtleneck cashmere sweater. This one is from Reese. A simple pair of blue jeans, 
a thin belt just to cinch in the waist a little bit and then a pair of casual ballet flats. That is pretty much the way that I would wear this perfume. It's easygoing, casual, but also cozy at the same time. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these fragrances, which ones do you enjoy as well? I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.